Yeah, I thought it was good. I, I thought we learnt from last week. We we had so many opportunities to score and didn't. I thought um, credit to the opposition. They were desperate. They held us up a few times. Um, we knew they're a team that doesn't go away. Um, there were certainly things we would have rather executed better in that first half, but we spoke about half time. This is the lesson learnt. Last week we were probably frustrated that we did nice opportunities against the Broncos, and today we wanted to go out there and just grind them into the ground. And I think our defence did that in the second half. We, particularly them coming off their own line, we just it felt like what the Roosters did to us here in the wet. Uh, we did that to them tonight, so that's probably the most pleasing part was that and then that created opportunities and we scored some tries. Um, could have scored more, but um, I'll take it. It felt like uh, Sean and Lewis tried losing half really from the game and from the on they were chasing you after that. How happy were you, were you that you guys managed to put that on the way? Yeah, I think, I think whoever scored the try, you're right, would have been the turning point simply because we've been just hammering away at it. We'd been sort of knocking the knocking the door down, had heaps of opportunities. Like, like Mitch Barnett got held up in the second half, and you could you could say three or four more little missed opportunities. But um, yeah, it took took a half back Sean to step and show everyone how to put the ball over the line, and it was pretty. He'll, he'll remind us of that all week. Um, but that was good. Like, um, and that was the moment that changed it because we went right. Okay, we finally got our reward. So now we understand if we stay at it, that this is what will happen, rather than. You know, getting frustrated and throwing the toys out. Uh, we know we know that it, it works in the end if you if you stay solid. How important was Sean tonight because he did score those two drives when the game's yep. in the balance with no one else that you go to yep. come up with that. So how, how crucial was that kind of thing? Yeah, he was unbelievable. I thought he was great. I thought he was just composed. Um, felt way to deception around the, um, the the ruck helped him as well. Kind of let him just worry about different patches of the grass and then um, when he saw the opportunity he wanted to take him after half time he came out and ran the football um, wasn't even a, the try was the icing but there were so many other things about Sean's game that were good leading up to that moment um, and that's what it excited me he, he wanted to run off the back of some of Wade's plays tonight and that was what we wanted to do and uh, he made sure he's a threat and he got the rewards he went right foot straight and I, I was like is the ball going to finally go over the line here? And then he did it, so it was good. Was it deliberate ploy from you to get him running more tonight? No, it wasn't a ploy as in Sean hasn't been running the ball. It was just like a shape designed to get him better opportunities. That's all he wanted. It wasn't like um, he wasn't running the ball, he wasn't doing his job. It wasn't Because that's kind of always been my pet hate about Sean, you've got to run the ball more. I just, don't, I just think you've got to put good shape around him. Shape, I don't know, that's a terrible word, but good um, bloke plays in motion. To give him the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. so how far do you think it's been in the season? How much does that mean to you know, not have to grind it out and like two or four or six points? But to, you know, really put aside away last night. Yeah, well, it was good for six minutes to go, just knowing that it was probably going to be hard to get beaten. Still, I don't know why, but still nerve wracking for some reason. Um, but it was, it was good. It was good to know. So the funny thing is, we to say we didn't grind it out, I still thought we did. You know, like we actually grinded it out right to that, that point when we knew, and uh, and then we got to enjoy it. So we, it's not like we won fancy. Um, we stayed tough and solid. And like I said, I thought our defence went after them. And, yeah, just reminded me of what the Roosters did to us, and that's what we've been missing. Uh, I thought guys like Mitch Barnett uh, made a big difference by going after them defensively, and uh, you, you saw the results, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a bit groggy, but he's, he, at, he's talking now. He's had a yarn with him. He's OK at this stage. That, uh, what did you think of that um, collision? Oh, it looked like there was obviously a head clash, but um, I don't. There was obviously something to do with the shoulder that whilst we got a penalty, but obviously it wasn't reportable. I certainly don't think we meant to hit him in the head. So, yeah, oh, that's my first reaction to it. Yeah. Well, just on the game, were you getting a bit worried? And I think the 53rd minute, the 51st minute when Dallas tried to score back. I wasn't worried because of the way we left the sheds. Um, the reason why I say that is at half time, we, we had a really good chat about it. I thought our leaders were great. Toy spoke, um, Sean spoke just about 
we, we shouldn't be worried. We shouldn't be worried that we've had all these opportunities that haven't cashed in yet. Um, so I was, I was really confident that no matter what was going to happen, we weren't going to get frustrated tonight. And I thought that that stayed true. So um, I was I was confident in the boys that they learnt those lessons, and and that that's that's what we're about at the moment. Make sure we keep learning each week and we do a thorough review and look at what what we got better at and what we need to keep improving. But that was something that we broke through on tonight. I thought. Uh, yeah, it's been a few weeks since um, I've had any incidents with it and I was feeling really good. But yeah, just just got um, caught underneath a, a body there. My knee got caught and, and hurt a little bit, but was able to walk it off and, and get back into the game. So I was yeah, pretty glad I didn't have to come off the field. Is it something that you have to it's it's yeah it's just an injury I just have to keep managing it um, week to week and but yeah the the longer time goes on the stronger I get it the the less incidents will happen so just got to keep grinding away at it and and get it as strong as possible. Yeah, I, I think. Um, Obviously, with the things that we wanted to improve on from last week, um, our focus this week, you know, defensively, we wanted to get that right, and and um, a lot of that was shown sort of in our first few tackles of the set. We wanted to make sure that we were uh, really good there. That was that was a big focus for us, and I thought um, thought they like boys in the forwards they showed it, and and like uh, Webby said. Barney's huge for that. that that's his strength. He, he brings a real intensity with his defence and he's got a real pride in it. And um, to have him back in the team, it makes a massive difference and fills us with confidence out on the field. And how is uh, Marcelo and also any other injuries? Yeah, Marcelo's good. He's back. Um, I don't think we've got any other injuries. So I think we could. Um, so, yeah, he did the 15 minutes and we, it was quite strange tonight. We had Josh Curran on the left left centre. We had Murata on the right centre. So um, it's not like we didn't have some things curveballs thrown at us tonight as well. Like I thought the boys handled that stuff well. So that's kind of our motto. Like whatever happens, we'll deal with it. And got to keep, we've got to keep working on that because it's important. Mm. Your situation, are you going to start asking the coach for more rest during the week or even during the game? Break. I'll interrupt. <laughs> with the, if we score 30 points, you can have the last eight minutes. Or... Yeah, that's something I learnt tonight. I didn't know what it took until, <laughs> until after the game. <laughs> Thank you.